Good morning world, it's been a while I was doing one of those videos. We are in a last week of Libra season getting ready to start with a Scorpio season as of 23rd of October next week and eclipses that are coming our way. As of 25th to the 20th of October, you might already feel some of those energies that bring quite a lot of changes, a bit of unsettlement bit of unexpected outcomes but this is um, all that is needed for transformation and growth really what i have here in my hands sunstone and the moonstone for connecting with your intuition with your inner energy and action forward first card on the desk on the table the death card scorpio card card of transformation it's been coming up quite a lot lately as we are going through the time of big changes, ending of cycles, beginning of the new ones, ready or not. The next one in a row is a four of wands, the card of stability, of a happy home, of feeling confident within your own self, body, heart, soul. Karma. In traditional tarot deck, the karma card is represented by the judgment. It is awakening. It is another new cycle. It is the actions we take today that will shape our future. It is about recognizing what has to be left behind and in which direction to move forward. Six of Pentacles. The card of equal exchange, the card of being a position to share with others, but making sure you have enough for yourself first. Fill in your cup first in order to be there for others. Card of a chariot, the cancer card, the card of movement, the card of balancing opposites, the card of taking action in the right direction. Another major arcana. On the top of the reading, on the top of the spread, we have Knight of Wands. This is Leo, Sagittarius, an Aries energy. Fire energy, forward movement, going fast. The advice of the card would be maybe take a pose a bit before moving into the um, action, just for in order to make sure it's the right decision and it's the right step forward. This is the first time I'm using one of these cards. This is for from my new Osho Zen Tarot deck, a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, I might actually make a separate video on this one. This is how the package looks like. Um, I haven't had a chance to go through all the cards yet, but uh, what I've seen so far, the images are beautiful and the description of the cards are just amazing by amazing Osho, you can imagine. So the, it's called the Transcendental Game of Zen. 79 cards plus instruction book that comes. This is uh, not a uh, sponsored post, but I feel very, very passionate about this deck and very happy to share. So what we got from... Osho Zen Tarot is the fool. Look at the image. Taking the leap of faith, jumping into unknown in order to discover new heights, but also knowing that through this journey, we are all well supported. Wishing you a happy week. Wishing you a happy Scorpio season. On that note, please do like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Art of Tarot, with underscore in between. Um, and my Facebook page, Marilon Arts, where I do share uh, different activities I do uh, from dance, tarot and other projects that are going on. Also with useful information on what's happening uh, in our like planetary world at the moment. Do get in touch for private readings. Wishing you all happy week. Speak soon.